Hi there. I'm going to ask you a question, and I want you to be very honest with me. Do you ever get those days when you just feel like you're a stranger to yourself? You get that midnight urge to get up, clean your room, start a workout, cook a healthy meal, only to end up the next day staying in bed, binge-watching your favorite series, and just eating unhealthy food. I have been there multiple times, actually. It's not very pretty, it's so comfortable, and it's scary. And you know what's most scary about it? Is that each time I knew that there is an exit gate, and I have never chose to take it. I found it too hard to get out there, do some actions about it. But after that, I realized that the hardest thing would be to stay stuck in there, knowing deep inside my heart that I belong somewhere better. Hey again, beautiful soul, the real Soha here, and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna be very sincere with you and share with you truthfully my ultimate guide of healing and my self-love mastery class. And that means revealing to you the four secrets to my inner happiness, how I balance my actions through the four most important aspects of my life and what I would love to call the four pillars of self-love. Space, body, mind, and soul. Before too much talk, let's get right into it first starts my healing process by the very space that surround me. It is a love language to create for my soul, for my body and for my mind a clear, clean space. Remember, a clean space equals a clear mind. First step into leveling up and in clearing my head is to clean my space. Without a clean space, I cannot have a clear mind without a clear mind i cannot make sound decisions and with that discipline becomes a distant dream so let me just clean my space and make it a place where i feel home where i feel safe to be inspired and to be who i am good morning what i did yesterday was to fix my wardrobe i thought it's gonna take me one hour two hours it literally took me all evening everything i do i lose this feeling mm -hmm, i did not okay okay honey okay we're gonna give you some water without further let's clean and i want to say one more thing is that it is more about the space you spend time at to be a mirror and to be a reflection of your thought so i want you guys to look at your space and feel this connection with this place is this really how you want your mind to be if it's messy and unorganized that means you have a lot of thoughts in your head if it has a little vibe that matches you if it has this little colors that makes your heart beat and makes your eyes lighten up this is what is all about and this is what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying, for example, to make my bathroom a happier place to me with more color and with more green. And that is just a reflection of how I would like to feel when I enter this space. I want it to feel like an organic place when I can just be myself. Part 2. Body. Let's start with the first section, which is body movement. I came to this realization that engaging in a regular physical activity is not only about staying healthy and fit, 
but it's more about nurturing both my physical and mental well-being. Every step, every stretch, every workout, it contributes to the harmony between my body and my mind. So let us explore the joy of the movement and its profound impact on my journey, on our journey to self-love and self-healing. Yo, uh, here live from the gym. I wanted to make sure to talk about you about this part, oh, working out part. Well, this year, to be honest, is the year that I worked out the most in my life, I think. But it's been two months now that I have not worked out. Uh, my second workout after uh, this two months uh, break that came out of nowhere. I started, started working out again and it feels like hell. You know, I don't know how I will edit the clips. Uh, if it seems to you that it's super easy for me and I'm enjoying it, I'm not. i to you guys, if you believe me, that there was a point in my life when I enjoyed the gym. I like coming here, but there's a lot of time in my life when I did not, but I still felt good after. Sometimes it just doesn't feel like something you want to do. You know, when you take some medicine and there's some medicine that actually tastes good, so you are gonna take it anyway but you like taking it because it tastes good but there are some medicine that some pills that are just so hard to swallow or some like so disgusting literally but you have to take it in order to feel good after that in order to take that disease out, out of your body this is exactly what i'm telling my body right now if you want to get to the place when you are fit and healthier and your body is easier to move you go up the stairs you don't feel so you know you want to faint or anything if you want to reach that point you just have to move your body regularly and that is just a pill that you have to take you enjoying it or not it's not really my business you will have to do that nutrition this part is the hardest to manage and still it's so hard for me to manage balancing between work and school i always find myself eating whatever whenever and that is not healthy at all the quote you are what you eat holds more truth than we often realize the food we choose to nourish our body has a profound influence on our overall health including mental and emotional well-being and what is the best decision for me personally is having this intuition eaten as long as I know that I will have to eat healthy complete meals with the actual nutrition my body needs to function properly I can eat whatever I want that means personally I would never stop myself from eating an ice cream that I'm craving but at the same time I'm gonna push myself a little bit harder when it comes to finishing up my meal and trust me the minute you are in control over what you eat, over what you put into your body, then you can transform your nutrition as a transformative power to help level up your life. Here it goes, my favorite part. Let's turn our attention now to self-care and skin care to be more specific. Your skin is a canvas that reflects your inner self. So basically caring for your skin is an act of self-love. And you know, it's not only about aesthetics. It's about actually cultivating confidence and health from within you. Or I used to go get some random skincare products that I found in the drugstore or maybe I saw on TikTok and just go buy them. But no, I want you to be more mindful about what you are putting in your skin. Just go maybe to a dermatologist or maybe just use all the knowledge available to you on internet and just invest in real good products that will actually work for you invest in a good spf that will really protect your skin from the damage the sun will do to it and after that just try and commit to doing it and one thing i do to make the process of skincare routine very good and very fun to me is that i would usually say some beauty affirmation or sometimes I will listen to them through YouTube video and I will just do my skincare with grace, embracing the beauty that I have and just manifesting more. And I would love for you to experience this because trust me, honey, it is a game changer. Guys, I'm here. Literally, it's just 
Peaceful. So peaceful and amazing. Hi guys. Here it's summertime, so I think it is easier to get it out. The weather is nice, but sometimes when it's the weather is not nice and you just wanna be at home every day, that does ruin your mood sometimes. Hi. Hello. Please take a time in your you know week and schedule a time to just get out and just like see the world. What is something you think people should do? if they are feeling down and if they are feeling that they wanna you know just they're lost and they just wanna take a break from everything that's happening and just connect with themselves what do you think something that they should do enjoy life yeah but like how how mm. Mm. go out mm -hmm. they eat outside they eat, yes they eat outside their they favorite do food like activities uh, anything they want and uh, Like that. <laughs> so yeah, just go out, eat your favorite food, go out to the movies, go out to the gym, I don't know, just go out for a walk, like for a 20 minute walk on in nature and just, you know, listen to your favorite music outside, read a book outside in the benches, I, I would recommend yes, anything. Eat a good food. Yeah. <laughs> Ask you a question by the way, this is Ayubi, you already saw him in my videos. Like, what do you think, like, an advice that, uh, you can give someone who is feeling lost or someone who's just, you know, want to glow up in their life? Like, something that they can do to feel better. Walk on yourself. Yeah. Love yourself. Yeah. And, uh, be happy. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> so reading is a powerful aspect of self-love and personal growth. For me, reading is literally the food of the brain. Reading has this ability to transport you to different words, to different stories and make you live another life, expand your perspective and deepen your understanding of yourself, of life, of others and of this whole world. And I think such a powerful activity should not go unnoticed from your daily life. I think you have to consider this activity as a powerful tool to level up your life. After working on your mind aspect, after getting so many quality time with yourself and friends that inspire you, after getting so many knowledge from books and from reading overall, I go and I just plan my life. I organize everything in my mood board. I watch plenty of videos of YouTube on how to set up priorities for my goals how to set objectives, and I just draw for myself daily habits, daily actions, non-negotiables, and basically just draw for myself a clear action plan to keep me focused. So I advise you to do the same. Fourth aspect, which is connecting with my soul, I found the first most important thing to do is to express what you feel. Humans, we have so many emotions. Suppressing those feelings can be crucial to our well-being sometimes. I usually express my feelings through art, which is either creating some videos, photography, actually drawing something. Sometimes I will just cry myself out in front of a camera and, and talk it all out ways of expressing our feelings or just other ways of connecting i would say to our higher soul and higher self is connecting with the universe either through prayers through meditating through spending time in nature 
Working on my soul is a profound, significant practice for me. And I assure you guys, if you put so much love, effort and time into this aspect, you will find peace and you will become much more happier. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you staying until the end. Thank you so much again. Don't forget to leave me a comment. I hope you liked this video. I hope it made you feel something. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe or yeah, to subscribe if you want to see me again. <laughs> Bye. Have a great day or have a great night. Just have a great time. Bye. I'm going to go now. Yeah, I'm going. Bye.